Good evening everybody and once again welcome to another AWS video. At uh, this video I'll be talking about a wonderful article I stumbled upon last night that is identifying source schema changes using AWS Glue. I'll also be sharing some of the personal tips that we are using internally to identify schema changes. Okay, Let's get started with the video. All right. So author uh, Narendra Gupta and Navneet Shukla has done a fantastic job. Thank you guys for sharing and writing this amazing article, first of all. Uh, so let's talk about the solution. Uh, basically, uh, let me go back. So the problem here is, you know, whenever data engineers are working with external files, right? Files that these vendors are delivering, right? It's often that we don't have control over the source schema. Sometimes the column name changes, the data type changes. How do we identify those changes and essentially get alerted or notify people so that the pipeline could be fixed? So let's um, talk about that in this video, okay? A very simple use case that I have for the video is I have two CSV files, CSV1 and CSV2. If you observe closely, there's a column called region. Here it's a varchar and here it's a big int, right? So there's a change in schema, which I want to be identified by, by, by the solution here, right? And there's a new column added called total, which is not there in the first file. So uh, again, uh, what I did is essentially, uh, if I come here and uh, come into the data. So basically the author says that, you know, first we are assuming that these files are de being delivered by a vendor. So assuming that the vendor delivered this file, right? That is my first file over here, uh, this one. Right now, what we do is essentially we run a glue crawler, right, to identify the schema of this. Right, once we do identify the schema, uh, let's go back. If you observe here, right, we identify the schema, and then essentially there's a glue job that will run every single day, right. So now let me go back here. Yeah. So assuming I have already processed these files, right. So I'll essentially move this file to a folder called archive, right. That is what the authors also say. So we'll click on move, browse, yeah, and then I'll click on archive and choose, right? And we'll click on move. Oh, I think the file already exists in that. So hence I need to delete, delete that first because I was trying to do a demo before this video, uh, right? So I'll delete this file. All right, so I did delete the file and now uh, what the author says is, right, since you process these files, right? we are gonna move this file to an archive folder. We, you processed it, right? Uh, the schema has been identified by the glue crawler, right? I have already done that. So we'll click on browse, Swamil Shah here, click on destination and, oops, 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 let's go back and click on move. So assuming my job has processed the file, right? Uh, right, and my now, what I'm gonna do is again, the vendor is gonna deliver a new file. Say next week the vendor is delivering a file. So now I'm gonna upload the second file, which has the schema change, right? So I'm dragging that on the S3 here and I'm uploading on the S3 as well. I'm closing it, right? I have the file, right? Now, what are we gonna do is basically we're gonna run the glue crawler here. So I have a glue crawler here, right? So I'm gonna run the crawler. Now this crawler is gonna identify that there's a change in schema. That is what the author says, right? Now, once that is done, again, going to the post that the author gave, right? So the crawler will identify the schema change and there's a glue job that's gonna run and essentially take all the items, for example, all the column that is added, removed, and then it's gonna publish that message to an SNS topic. So what I did is essentially I made an SNS topic called demo alert, right? And I took the code from authors, right? So here you can see the author has given all the source code and I essentially have um, provided the catalog ID, the database name, the table name, topic ARN, and uh, stuff like that, right? Now, uh, let me go back here. So that's my glue job, right? Again, I have taken the code from that blog post. Now I'm gonna run this job, right? So I, I did run the glue job. So as you guys know that there's a change in schema, right? Uh, if you observe here, right? There's no, uh, there's a no column called total, right? And this is changed from string to a big end, right? The glue job will identify, will gather the information and send it to the SNS. Now, the recipients are gonna get an email saying that, hey, there's a change in schema, you need to fix or take a look at the pipeline, right? If needed. So again, this will take a couple of seconds to run. Succeeded, right? Now going back to the emails and here you can see, I got an, I got an alert here, right? So I just wanna show you that. 
yeah data type change from region from string to begin column total with a data type double added right and the, this column was dropped right that's fantastic right uh, author has given a fantastic solution here i encourage if you you or your company needs a solution where you need to identify if there is a schema change this is a great solution which will essentially help you to alert right when there is a schema change another solution that i wanted to mention um, again that we also use internally is this so assume that we are getting a file uh, the the vendors are giving us a claims files in this format right now whatever that timestamp is right so every week every day they are going to give you files like these right now let's do whatever that yeah right? just put a, some extra numbers here so what we internally do is we have a dynamo db table we store the file name and basically we iterate over all the columns sort it in an ascending order and then we compute an md5 hash and store that in the dynamo table so next time when we come across a new file we again compute the hash and we check is the hash there in the dynamo db if it is there in the dynamo db is the hash different from what we have if it is different we know there's a schema change which means we will automatically create a new partition on the data lake so uh, version this will become v0 v1 v2 then the year month lake right so automatically whenever there's a new column or new schema changes automatically those data will go into that particular version folders right so this is also a great way to essentially uh, as said right whenever you're processing a file compute the hash on the column right uh, and so basically the, the concept is this right so let's say you have a column a and b right we compute an md5 hash here right and we store this in a dynamo db next time let's say column a b and c is added compute the again md5 hash check the md5 hash in the dynamo if it is different it's a new schema put the data into the new folder don't put into that folder because there's a change in schema right uh, so this is also a pretty great way and to essentially partition your lake if needed if you want uh, the change schema data should go into its separate version that's the way you could achieve that thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed um, watching all these small demos and uh, learning more about aws i'll leave the um, post that is done by the author in the description do check that out and thank you so much uh, mr uh, let me see the name for the author yeah thank you so much narendra gupta and navneet kumar for writing such wonderful article which helps people to learn uh, about all these amazing technology right so these are the author right um, narendra gupta and uh, navneet shukla thank you so much guys Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and if you have any more question list your question in the comments and we'll try to talk more about that uh, um, and that's all i have for this video take care stay safe and see you guys next time